Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So the first part of this video is being filmed in mid-January and we just had a big winter snowstorm last night and I'm inside doing a really fun project today. I'm potting up some of my Dahlia tubers. Now, if you saw one of my previous videos, I unpacked all of my Dahlia tubers from storage. I went through them, divided them, sorted them, and restored most of them. But some of them I set aside that weren't necessarily looking so well or maybe it was one of my favorite kinds and those are the ones I'm going to be potting up today to grow early. Now there's a couple reasons that you would put your dahlia tubers in soil to grow them early this time of year because obviously I'm not planting them outside. One is to be able to develop a plant early so that you're able to get an earlier plant and earlier blooms. The other is to take cuttings and that's mainly what I'm growing these for and I did that last year with a couple different different tubers and it worked really great. So in the first part of this video, I wanna show you how I pot these up to get them ready to take cuttings and I'll show you where I'm gonna put them under my grow lights. And then this video is actually going to be kind of a progressive video with updates on how it's growing um, at the different stages, you know, maybe in two weeks or a month. And then I will show you actually in this video also when these get far enough along, how I take cuttings and plant those cuttings to develop into an additional plant. Um, but first things first, let's get these tubers ready and get them planted in these pots. So the pots I'm using are four inch black pots. These are saved from annuals that I bought last year to put um, like in my window boxes or regular planters. Um, I always save these because they always come in handy, you know, to start tomatoes or do a project like this, or even if I'm potting up some bigger seedlings. So always save your annual plants because you're always going to be able to use the pots. Um, and then the potting soil I'm using is just a regular potting soil. Um, I think it's like the Burpees Organic Potting Soil. It's just whatever brand I could find, you know, in January. And I have all of these filled, uh, maybe about three quarters of the way full or so. And then I'm going to be putting the tuber in here and then adding a little bit more soil. I'm not gonna be completely burying the tubers, which you will see. So I'm just starting off with a little bit of soil in there. Now I have a few tubers that I'm going to be working with and I will show you these as I go. Some of them are really shriveled up like this one, but they do have a decent eye. I wasn't sure if this one was gonna be able to make it till spring, but since it has an eye, I'm gonna go ahead and pot it up right now. And then some of them, like this one, which is called Senior's Hope, already has growth points on it. So I might as well go ahead and pot that one up. Um, but I just kind of want to show you guys my process on some of these, and then I will get all of them potted up and I'll show you where I put them under the, my grow lights. So one of the first things that I need to do is get my plant markers ready. I definitely want to make sure that these are marked properly, especially because if I'm taking cuttings off of them, those need to be marked properly. So I'm going to mark Diva on this first tag and I am using a garden marker. I will link this down below. This is a permanent marker, but it will not fade like a Sharpie does. It's specifically made for outdoor use. You can get them in big size like this or a smaller size. They're awesome. So I have my Diva tag made. I'm gonna take the tag off my tuber. And this is the tuber. Um, this is another tuber that's really shriveled up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then this is the neck of the plant. I also don't need that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. There's actually two little tubers here that I'm gonna get rid of. Ooh, that one's really soggy. It's not cutting very well. There we go. And then there's a couple roots I'm gonna get rid of here. All right, so this is what I'm left with is a single tuber. Now, in order for your tuber to make a plant, it has to have an eye. The eye is where the growth point comes from. And I can see that this one has an eye right about in this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make kind of a little hole right in the center of my pot that my tuber can go into. And when you plant dahlia tubers for cuttings, I will zoom in also on the next one that I plant. Um, you do not want to bury the top of the tuber into the soil. So 
I'm going to put this down so it's standing above the soil and then I'm going to take a little bit more and fill in around it and I want to leave the top of that standing out of the soil and then I'm going to mark it and that is good to go. All right, let me move the camera in closer so you guys can see this a little bit more in detail. All right, so this is the next one I'm gonna be working with. This one is called Senior's Hope, and this is the one that already has some growth points on it. So I'm going to get this cut so it's ready to go in my planter. However, the first thing I need to do is make my marker. All right, so looking at this tuber, this one, you can see it moves back and forth really freely. Right here, it has a broken neck, so that will never produce anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I also am going to go ahead and cut off the stem, because we don't need that. And this has multiple growth points, and yes, there are little multiple tubers. They're pretty small. Um, this one actually, there's a growth point coming out right here, but this one is sliced. Um, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off. Yeah, cause I think this one might be feeding from here. It's kind of hard to tell, um, but I'm gonna leave these two tubers intact. And then when I plant this, I will let the growth points be above the soil so they can continue growing. So I'm going to make a little bit of an indentation right in the middle. And I'm going to set this down in the soil. See, there's a growth point here and there's a couple here. I want to leave those above the soil. I'm going to just fill some soil in around here. Okay, so that one is a little odd looking, but I think it's gonna be okay. Actually, when I pot these up, I usually don't see growth points, but I'm gonna take advantage of these and see if they'll continue to grow on. All right, let's do one more. All right, so this is the third one I'm gonna do. This is actually another Diva tuber. So I'm gonna go ahead and label that. This is off of a different plant, and I have two other tubers saved from that plant, but this one I thought, thought looked really great to go ahead and pot up, and there is a nice eye right here. So I'm gonna make a little hole right in the center of the pot. I'm gonna put that down in there. So it's sticking up above the soil. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more soil in around it. Okay, then we'll mark this one. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these tubers potted up, and then I will show you where these are going to go under my grow lights to actually grow and then be able to take cuttings from. Okay, so I ended up potting up nine different tubers, and I am really excited to see how these start growing. So some of these are standing straight up and the eye is just exposed and is not growing yet. Others um, have multiple growth points that are already starting. This one has one, this one has a few that are kind of nestled in the soil there. 
Um, some of them are on their side. This one is sideways and so the eye is now pointing up. But I am just really excited to see how fast these grow and how they grow. Um, now, a couple of them also I only potted up because they were a little too far gone and I just wanted to see if there was any life in them. So not all of these may grow, but any that do will just be extra dahlia plants that I get for this year. So before I go and put these under my grow lights, I am going to slightly water these in because I did not pre-moisten the soil. I do want them to have a little bit of moisture. I'm not going to soak the soil. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a drink. So I'm gonna do that next and then we'll go put them under the lights. Right, so here they are. They are under my grow lights. I have two lights per shelf to evenly space the light out. And then I did go ahead and put a heat mat under it too. This room um, is 66 degrees right now. I really like these to be a little bit warmer than that. I want them to be in the 70s and that is probably about the average temperature that a heat mat makes the soil. Um, I don't have one that has a temperature gauge or anything, but the heat mat should give them a little warmth to get them going. And now I will just wait and see what happens. So this video will pick back up when I see a little bit of growth. Okay, so here's an update for you guys. We are on day 21 and we're starting to see some nice growth on a couple of these. This one in particular is really outperforming the others. And this one is Miss Amara. You can see some nice growth right here. And there's actually a bunch of green poking through down in there as well. Um, most of them are showing growth. There are only two that are not showing anything. Um, this one, which is Gets Crazy, which was the one that I mentioned in the video that looked terrible, that's not showing any growth. And this one over here, which is a Diva, is not showing any growth. But the rest of them are. This one, I'll try to focus on it. Let me zoom out a little bit and then back in. There we go. So you can see right here there are two growth points. And actually right over here there are three more growth points. The one back here you may not be able to see growth from where you are. And gosh, I hope this is focusing for you guys. There actually is one little growth point right in here that just started popping above the soil. And then as far as the rest of them go, well, there's the one that's going like crazy. And then these four, you can see in the back some green very well. This one in the front right here, there is a little growth point that's just started to grow. This one is... Um, American Dawn. I love this one. I hope that one starts growing. And then these over here, this one clearly is putting out some nice shoots. And then in the back here, this one's really hard to see, but there's growth points here and here and here and here. Um, that is Senior's Hope. And the foliage on that one is a dark purple, so that's why that's so hard to see against the dirt. But Day 21, we're looking good. Um, Miss Amara definitely will be the first one to take cuttings off of. I'm gonna wait till this gets a little bit taller. I want um, this second set of leaves to grow quite a bit. And then I will report back when we do the first cutting. Okay, it's now day 27, and as you can see, these are starting to really put on some growth. The two over here, let me get that focus for you, are definitely starting to sprout more. Um, this one in the back is still not doing anything, this one. That's that gets crazy. If it hasn't done anything by now, it definitely won't. This one is getting really big. However, I think I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. These leaves would come off when I do the cutting anyway, and I want this middle part to get just a little bit taller. But you can see it's got another sprout here and another one in here. And then this one in the back is starting to look really good. Um, this one right here, I thought that there was a growth point here, but it's not doing anything. So I think that one's a dud also. Um, the one in the back is starting to get about four or five little shoots. And then this one here in the front, let me focus that again. 
is looking really, really good. So I think what I'm gonna do is give these about one more week and then I'll be able to do the cuttings from them. Okay, so it's now February 22nd and we're a month and just about two or three days since I started these. And as you can see, clearly they are doing well and ready for taking cuttings. So first I wanna zoom in and just show you what each one looks like because there's a few that didn't do anything at all. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take the cuttings from these. So I am really pleased with how all of these look. Um, although, three of them did not do anything. So this middle front tuber Diva did not do anything. And the ones that um, aren't showing any growth, I'm just gonna pitch them because it's not worth saving growth space for. Gets Crazy did not do anything, but if you remember right at the beginning of the video, I said that this is a tuber that looked really poor and I just potted it up just in case, but that didn't do anything either. And then, um, this American Dawn, which actually had a growth point right here and then it just stopped. So this one is going to go in the compost as well. Whoops. Now this one is Diva and is looking absolutely amazing. This is a question mark, but is looking awesome. This is a Miss Amara, which is looking really awesome. And they are a little bit wilted. Um, they are really dry, but I wanted just to wait until I rooted these and then they'll perk right back up. Um, this one is showing just a little bit of growth. This is peaches and cream. I probably actually won't cut this quite yet today. I might leave it a little longer. Um, this is another Miss Amara looking good, and I don't think I showed you this one yet. This is Senior's Hope, also looking a little small, but still some really nice growth. So I might leave this one and the peaches and cream to grow on a little bit further, um, but these I will go ahead and take cuttings from today. This actually is kind of a fun day to do this project because I don't know if hopefully you guys can't hear over the microphone, but it is super windy outside. We're getting a snowstorm, not as much as north of us that's getting a feet or so. I think we're in maybe the um, four to five inch range, but it is cold and windy and snowy. So it's a really good day to do this and start some seeds. Um, but anyway, taking cuttings from your dahlias is actually really simple and you basically just need um, like a sharp razor to make a really nice clean cut and you want to make sure it's nice and clean and I will put a close-up up on the screen when I actually do this but you're basically going in right where the growth point starts on the tuber and slicing it right up next to the tuber and then um, that plant is what you put in a rooting medium and last year when I did this, I just used regular potting soil. This year I'm trying something different. I ordered this bag of Root Riot, and I haven't opened it yet, but these are little plugs in here specifically made for rooting cuttings. And it says, um, where did I read that? Root Riot is a unique starter plug derived from naturally composted, fine milled um, sphagnum peat moss. And they're actually moist already inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get one of my seed starting trays. I'm gonna open this bag and then we'll put um, a few of these in the seed starting trays and go ahead and get the cutting started. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one of my Gardener Supply 24 cell seed trays. Um, I don't have that many cuttings here, so I think this is a good amount to use. And then I also will be using one of the humidity domes to cover it when I have this done. Um, but let's open up this bag and see what they look like. Kind of excited to use these. Oh, fun. So they're just little plugs and it says you just set them down in there and actually, whoops. You probably can't see this, but there's actually a little hole already on the top. And that's where you put your cutting right into. And they do feel very moist. 
Now it does say um, if your bag has already been opened and your plugs dried out when you go to do a project, you just soak them in lukewarm water and they'll moisten right back up. But I'm gonna try and seal up this bag just so they stay nice and moist. All right, let's set this off to the side. Oh, I need to get my rooting compound. Let me grab that. So this is a garden safe take root rooting hormone. I've used this in the past. Um, well, I used it for my dye cuttings last year, but I've also used it for succulents. So it's basically just a white powder. And I like to put a little bit in the lid and then that way I can just dip the cutting right in the lid and then I'll put it in the plug from there. So before we do that, let's cut our first cutting. I'm gonna do one and then the next one I'll zoom in so you can see really good detail. This is Diva. So I wanna go in right next to the tuber and I just wanna slice a nice clean cut as close as I can. All right. So that just slices right off. Now I do want to remove a bunch of these bottom leaves. So I'm just gonna take, I think these four big ones off. We'll set these aside. I'm almost tempted to cut these off too. I might just pinch those big ones off. Yeah. And then here's my nice little cutting. So then I'm just gonna dip it in this rooting hormone. So see, it's like just, it looks like flour. So it's a white powder. And then it says you just gently press it into the moss. I don't know how far that's supposed to go in, but that is about, like that feels really firm. So here's what it looks like. And I guess that's it. We'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera in closer and I wanna show you this next one that I cut off. All right, so hopefully I have a nice clear shot from you guys. I actually am going to take three cuttings off this plant. This is the first one, so you can see right here is where it's connected to the tuber. I just wanna slice that off. And then this one, I'll turn it this way, slice that off as well. Now there is another growth point here, and if we turn it around, there's another growth point here, and actually now I am seeing another growth point over here. And these that I sliced off will grow back. So this tuber is gonna get watered and it will go right back under the lights. Now as far as my cuttings, we'll move this out of the way because it's done. I'm going to remove I'm just pinching off these big leaves. So here's my cutting. So I wanna put the bottom of it in the rooting compound. And then I'll take this plug and it says don't push too hard but I feel like I want it down in there. Oh, I broke it. Oh, I just broke it. That's why it says don't push too hard. I broke it. Oh, dang, okay. Well, that's all right, I have this one. That's why it says don't push too hard. I'm gonna pinch these off. This is a smaller cutting. Well, I learned my lesson, so it does not need to go very far into the plug. There. Oh, look how cute that looks. Okay. Those are so cute. So before I do any more, I wanna make sure and label these so I know exactly what type of cutting they are. 
So I'm using a garden marker that will never smear. I will link that down below. I also will link down below um, all the supplies that I use today. So I will try to find a link for this rooting hormone and the root riot. I will definitely link down below. That way, if you guys want to look them up, read about them, buy them, um, then you can easily look at those. So I'm just going to get after this. The rest of these, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting off and I'll show you what they all look like when I'm done. Okay, here they are. These are the cutest things ever. I just absolutely love them. Is that not the cutest thing? So I have eight different cuttings. I have um, two that are question mark, two that are diva, um, three that are Miss Amara, and I did one peaches and cream, which was a pretty tiny one, um, but I think it actually works perfectly. Now these tubers, um, the ones I cut off of are just going to go right back um, under the grow lights. I am gonna water them in. These will continue to grow and I can of course continue to take cuttings off of them. But basically now um, the packaging for the Root Riot says you mist these and then cover them with a humidity dome to keep the humidity in. And then we just watch them grow. Um, the only one I'm questioning is maybe these leaves if they need to come off. I'm gonna leave them for now, but I'm gonna watch that one. Otherwise, I think the rest of them just look absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna take my mister, which I've had so many of you guys ask me about this mister. I will link it down below. It is awesome. You pump it and it's a continuous mist. It works so good. I just misted all of my ranoculus trays this morning and it like took me literally no time at all. I'm just gonna give these a couple good miss. I had to go home to find my humidity domes because I had all the trees here and then my humidity domes were at home. Okay, so this is not going to go on a heat map, but this is gonna go back under my grow lights um, and I'm just gonna monitor them. I do not foresee me keeping the humidity dome on for very long. I think that's just to keep the moisture in initially while these are taking root. But I would assume that I would see some roots pretty fast. Um, one thing I did notice with my dahlia cuttings last year, and maybe um, that was because they were in potting soil and not something like this, but they kind of uh, drooped at first and looked a little bit sad for a few days and then they suddenly perked back up. So it'll be interesting to see if these go through that little bit of a sad stage or if they just continue looking like this and then all of a sudden start putting on a little bit of growth. So I'll make sure to post updates on my Instagram story, of course, and then I'll probably have updates later when these really grow and when I pot these up so that they can um, start growing on more to go outside. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. That was kind of the entire process. I hope it didn't get too long, um, but maybe it will inspire some of you to do this little experiment and get some additional dahlia plants from the year. So anyway, stay tuned for a lot more yet this spring. I have so much going on um, that I am so excited about, so I'll make sure to share all of that with you guys. See you soon.